Hey, welcome back to Cobb's Q. Today, we're doing andouille sausage. Man, did this one come out good. Matter of fact, we had to come back and reopen this episode. The flavor was so amazing that my boy was like, Dad, I don't know what you've done. Don't change a thing. This is even better than your brisket jalapeno sausage. The boy wasn't wrong. I got the recipe out of a sausage making book that I'll put a link in the description below. It's fantastic. And it's just the base recipe for andouille. But then I wanted to tweak a little bit. I wanted to try to get a flavor explosion, if you will. And man, did we find it. This has been fantastic. Now, it's a little bit on the hot side. So if you want, you can kind of cut back on the cayenne red pepper. Otherwise, I wouldn't change a thing. We can't wait to make jambalaya and put some of the andouille in that. And then a couple other Cajun dishes and gumbos now that it's summertime. Anyway, let's get started and start grinding some meat. So typically andouille sausage is a large grind. However, I do prefer a smaller grind, but what I decided to do today, I just purchased the new double grind extension kit for my one horsepower meet your maker grinder. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a dual grind and uh, see how this works out. So let's put this together. We got our back plate. We got our dual cut knives. And the number is supposed to go forward. So we see the number 22 there. We're gonna take our large plate and then we're gonna go ahead and seal this up. And we're gonna get this in the freezer for probably about 45 minutes while I freeze the meat and get ready to grind. All right, to make the andouille sauces today, we're gonna go ahead and put our spices together and uh, we're gonna put this in the description, but we're using salt, we're using cure number one, black pepper, we've got freshly ground garlic, we got freshly pulled thyme. The, the interesting thing with thyme is it called for dried and I prefer the flavor of fresh thyme. So basically here's a sprig, six sprigs per teaspoon of thyme and then you figure out what that is. We used 18 sprigs today. Uh, we've got cayenne red pepper, we've got a little mace, we've got paprika, and finally, we're using a third cup of Tony Chachere's no salt seasoning. Uh, I've already controlled the salt that I want in this sausage, so I didn't want any additional salt, so we found the no salt. We're gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, we've got this double grind head on here. So we've been freezing our pork butt and our fat back. We've got four pounds of pork butt and one pound of fat back. Let's go ahead and get this in the hopper. Now, all the spices I'm gonna mix in the tub, except for the garlic. The garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this in here now and let that mix and, and go through an extra grind. Let's go ahead and get started. And I have a small bag of very crushed ice just to clean out the rest. Okay, we are not gonna pass this through another grind plate. So let's go ahead and we'll mix our spices and we'll get this ready. All right, so let's go ahead and get our salt mixed in. Cure number one, black pepper, get our thyme, smoked paprika, cayenne, two grams of mace, and a third cup of Tony Chachere. Let's get this mixed in real well. We're gonna use a cup of binder, that is dry fat milk. Mix that in right quick. And then we're gonna mix in one cup of water. And that water and that milk powder will help create a really strong bind and help those proteins extract. And we're just gonna mix this until we get a really, really good consistent bind, at which point we'll get our stuffer ready. Okay, test that. I think that's a really good bind. It's not going anywhere, so we are ready to stuff our andouille. All right, now it's time to start stuffing this, so let's go ahead and grab our stuffer. Let's get our sauces down inside, get it nice and tight. Okay, that is stuffed. Let's put this back in. Okay, got our casing, I got a little pricker. I'm gonna go ahead and push this until it just starts to come out. And let's go ahead and feed this on. Get a little extra water. 
using 29 millimeter casings today. I'm going to tie this together and I'm going to prick the very tip of this. All right, so let's go ahead and start filling these up. Now, I do like to come in, say my andouille is about that long. I'm going to press the next one in. And ever so often, I'm going to squeeze it where I want it. Make sure that's ready. Okay, and we've hit the end of the internet. So, once again, we're just going to put our little squeezes in now. Just go ahead and turn these. Three away. Two other tight. This one towards. Okay, we got through the whole thing. We didn't even get a blowout. We're getting another tray. We're going to put these on a wire rack and put them in the fridge uh, overnight uh, to allow that cure number one to go ahead and do its thing. Uh, never eat this until it's gone at least 12 hours and been able to convert. We're going to go and put that in the fridge. We're going to let the casing dry out. Again, we're going to let the uh, cure number one react with the meat, do its thing. And then tomorrow, we'll put it out on the smoking it smoker. And we'll finish up there. All right, it's time to go ahead and smoke our andouille sausage. We're going to go ahead and stick it on for an hour at 100 degrees with no smoke just to dry out the casings. And then we'll move from there and we'll show you what we're going to do. But let's go ahead and get this ready. So let's open up the smoking it smoker so it's ready for us. Now we're going to take our sausage, which looks really good. This, this, uh, this came out real nice. I'm very pleased with it. Okay, that'll work. Bring this in here. Let's separate these in the back. Make sure it's not touching the edge. Separate these in the front. Again, make sure they're not touching the edge. This is ready to go. Go ahead and turn her on. Remember, we're not going to use smoke initially. And we're set for 100 degrees right now. So what we're going to do is just close up the pit as such. We're going to let it go for one hour like this. All it's going to do is allow that outside casing to go ahead and dry out further. Once that's done, then we're going to go ahead and light the Bella's smoke generator and start getting some smoke on. Today I'm running with hickory because that's what I got, but I think it's going to work just fine. Okay, so we've hit our one hour mark. So what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to close up the clo smoking it smoker. Now earlier, one thing I'd failed to mention is I also turned the internal fan on full blast but i do need to turn it off for this to work otherwise it'll blow back now if you watch two guys in a cooler eric recently talked about a new power pump that will work and will allow you to use both the convection fan as well as the bella so it might be worth taking a look at that it is a stronger pump that allows that to happen well let's go ahead and we're going to get this lit first i'm going to turn the pump on full bore then I'm going to go ahead and light this. I'm going to light it from both sides. And we see plenty of smoke coming out of here, so we're going to let that go full bore for a little bit. And then in about 10, 15 minutes, we're going to back that down just a hair. We are good now with smoke for the next probably four to five hours. We're going to go at 150 for two hours, and then we're going to bump it to 175 for two hours. Then we're going to bump it to 195 degrees until the food temperature reaches 155 degrees, at which time we'll pull it and we'll put it into an ice bath. Okay, so we've hit 155 degrees, so let's go ahead and get the andouille off. We're going to put it in a cold ice bath for 10 minutes. Oh, they look beautiful. Wow, those look pretty. Okay, we're gonna let these sit for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna snip each one separately and we're gonna let them bloom for two hours. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay, our 10 minutes have passed. We're gonna go ahead and put on a pair of gloves, get these cut, set aside so they can bloom for two hours and see how they came out. I like to dry them off before I put them on the rack. 
That was an end piece, so it's a little bit longer, but we're gonna test that tomorrow. I'm gonna wait to do this tomorrow when I got the boy at the house, and then we'll eat them then, which the beauty of uh, video will be in just a few minutes. Got a nice mahogany color on these. These are typically done in larger casings. It just happened to be what I had on hand, and I don't think they're gonna eat any differently. We are good. We're gonna take these upstairs. We're gonna let them bloom for about two hours. Then I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum seal most of them and I'll keep two of them out so that I can share them with my son tomorrow when he gets over. Okay, so here we go. We cooked some andouille. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it tastes. And uh, I gotta tell you, the smell that's been coming off of here has been phenomenal. And that is really hot, so we're gonna give it just a second as we uh, cut into this. I'm gonna hold it with tongs. This was I smart enough to bring a uh, pair of, or a, at least a fork down here. Oh man, boy, that came out looking good. God, the smell of smoke coming off of that is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna cut a, the obligatory piece for the cameraman. I'm going to tell the cameraman he may want to give it just a moment. You ready, cameraman? Yes, I am. All right. All right. So the idea behind this andouille is meant for gumbos, meant for uh, red beans and rice and stuff like that. And you can eat it like this, and it's fine. Mm -hmm. But then this weekend we'll do some kind of gumbo or red beans and rice or something along those lines. So I want your honest opinion. We're looking for a smoke flavor. We're looking for a larger cut of meat than the fine uh, grinds. Mm -hmm. And then I kicked it in with a little extra spice, 20 chaturays. So I'm interested in your opinion. All right, well, let's dig in. Take this front piece. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm hmm That's got... Sp oh, that is yeah. really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it would work with the mace, but I wanted to use the mace and the mm -hmm. Tony Chacharays. Dude, that's fine. And you know what? I want you to have that last piece. Why do I want you to have that last piece? What's special about today? Today is my Eagle Board of Review. So if all goes well tonight, which it will, I'll be an Eagle Scout. I'm so proud of that boy. Because Eat of that, that last one. All right. Wow. Mm. I mean, that flavor is still mm. there. It f tastes good. Mm. It's lingering. Man, that's good. That's really good. We're sticking with this. Cool. Mm. All right, uh, give this one a shot. This is an excellent recipe. I think it's gonna go really well in some gumbos and red beans and things along those lines. Uh, might even throw some in a crawfish etouffee because I love making crawfish etouffee. So take a moment and like. And subscribe. And thanks for watching today. Have a blessed day. Jeez, that's freaking Isn't good. Isn't that good? I mean, I don't know what you did, but you found another recipe.